and welcome back to my channel. London over at Life with London tagged me in a Christmas uh, question tag. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and answer some of those questions. London already did hers. I think she did hers like last week. And I've just been really busy trying to um get my house together for christmas and for my home christmas tour if you guys missed my christmas tour i will leave it up here in the corner at the top so you guys can go see that and i'm feeling very like feeling very fancy today you know like my hair is over to the side and and i have a shoulder showing it's it's quite quite sexy wouldn't you think anyway let's go ahead and get on with the questionnaire for christmas i have all of the questions right here on my phone and i'm just going to go ahead and get started all right so the first question that they ask is when do you start decorating for christmas well <clears throat> Since I've been doing YouTube and since I have been sharing my home decor tours and stuff on YouTube, I usually start the day after I put all of my stuff away from Halloween. So basically November 1st-ish. So I usually put all of my Halloween decorations away like November 1st, pack all that stuff away, and then I get all of my Christmas decorations out. So I kind of transition from Halloween to Christmas immediately because it usually takes me a good full month of November to get all of my Christmas decorations up and in place and tweaked and in a perfect spot where I like them. So it usually takes me about a full month to decorate for Christmas. All right, number two, what style do you decorate your home for the holidays? Well, in years past, I had done like a really cute, um, I did like a candy cane themed, a Christmassy um, snowman theme. I have done so many different themes throughout the years, but the last two years, last year and this year, I have done a farmhouse theme. My tree is a like, country woodsy cabinish type of tree which i absolutely love it's so pretty and then the rest of my house kind of has that same theme but it also has the farmhouse theme along with it so yeah farmhouse would be it and i absolutely love it and i still kind of incorporate my snowmen and stuff in there as well but as far as like my candy canes and stuff like that i haven't put any of my candy canes out this year as far as decorating goes but i do have candy canes out that you can eat in like little cups and stuff around the house. So number three, favorite family Christmas tradition. Well, because I haven't had my kids with me for Christmas for the last 10 years, I know that's a whole other story, but anyway, um, I used to take a picture of my boys in front of the Christmas tree every single year from the time that they were born. And if I can actually find some of those photos, I will put those in right here for you guys to see them. I don't know how many of them I can find, but I will definitely try to do my best and I will put those in here for you guys. But yeah, every single year, I always sat them in front of the Christmas tree and I always took a picture and that's exactly the picture that I would put out in all of our Christmas cards. So as far as traditions goes, that was one of my traditions and quite honestly, Brian and I haven't, you know, come up with any like traditions for ourselves. Um, another kind of tradition that I guess you could say we've, I've always had was every year I always got my boys a brand new Christmas ornament, something that they could take with them when they got older and they got married and started celebrating Christmas for themselves. So I've always collected a Christmas ornament for my boys. And sadly, because of the relationship that I have with my children, um, I have never actually given any of those ornaments to my boys which is fine because I actually keep them in a tote for myself for memory's sake and I would rather it be that way than have them um and have my boys have them and, and me not know where those ornaments are at. So actually those ornaments are very, very sentimental to me and I do not put those out anywhere because sometimes it's very heartbreaking for me to go back through and look at some of those ornaments. So that is one of the traditions that I have, but I've actually kept that tradition with my nieces. So I've always gotten my nieces a Christmas ornament as well. And so I've continued on with that tradition with them. And um, I kind of kind of get one for my sister as well. Well, she and I have a Wizard of Oz 
fetish and every year she and I get each other something that has to do with the Wizard of Oz. So I guess you can say those are kind of some of our traditions that we still have or that we keep. Alrighty, the next question, number four, favorite place to buy Christmas decor? Well, you guys, I'm going to say Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Target. I mean, and Walmart has actually stepped up their game and actually has a really nice selection of Christmas home decor. So, I don't know, a lot of those places are pretty cool. I also like some of our local Christmas shops that's been around, um, that we have around, like the Jolly Christmas Shop. I also like, um, what is that called, McTwinklins or whatever we have here. Um, but any place that sells Christmas decor, actually. Oh my God, did I say Kirkland's? Kirkland's, yes. I don't know if I forgot Kirkland's or not, but all of those places, because my home is like filled with all of those decor decorations from those stores, every single one of them. All right, number five, favorite Christmas movie. Well, I, I actually have several Christmas movies that I like. Fred Claus is one of them because I kind of have like a celebrity crush on um, Vince Vaughn. He is just so freaking cute. I absolutely love him. I don't know if it's because he's like, he's from Chicago, but I don't know. He's just, there's just something that, to him. I just don't think he's all about fluff. You know what I mean? So I think he's just like a jeans and a t-shirt kind of guy, which is awesome. But anyway, I like Vince Vaughn. I like Fred Claus. Obviously, I love A Christmas Story. I love White Christmas. I love any of the Charlie Brown, like Charlie Brown Christmas. I love those. Rudolph, I like, except Rudolph, you know, I find that show to be a little on the bullying side because even Santa participates in the bullying and I'm really not happy about all that. But I do like Rudolph when they're not bullying him. Um, obviously, um, my goodness, Four Christmases I like. I love Elf. I love a lot of Christmas movies, you guys. A ton of them. <laughs> so so many heart, so many to mention. Um, okay, so um, number six, eggnog, hot cocoa, or apple cider. I like apple cider and I like hot cocoa. I do not like eggnog. Oof, no eggnog for me. Eh, no eggnog. But yeah, hot apple cider. Love hot apple cider, and I love hot cocoa. Alrighty, number seven, do you leave chocolate chip cookies or sugar cookies out for Santa? Neither. Um, I, you know, I remember I think at one point my kids and I did that, but then when things started kind of falling apart there, I didn't have them on Christmas Eve, so that kind of stopped our tradition. Um, so I never really did that, and of course Brian and I never leave cookies out for Santa either. Brian would probably eat them, or I would. But anyway, okay, um, number eight, artificial tree or real tree? Uh, artificial, please. I am not a green thumb at all, so like I can kill a plant that is hardy. I can kill a plant that would shouldn't die. I My house would probably go up in flames if I had a fake tree or um, a real tree um, because for some reason I'd probably forget to water it, my lights would get too hot or something, and that thing would be up in flames, and then there would go my house. So... Artificial tree it is. No, yeah, artificial tree it is. <laughs> okay, a favorite holiday dessert to make. I love making, and I know a lot of people have different names for them, but I call them Russian tea cakes, or some people call them wedding cakes. They're just like a cookie rolled in um, powdered sugar, and they're so freaking good. I absolutely love them. So those would be one of my favorite cookies to make. Another one would be like the chocolate blossoms with little kisses on the top of them. Love those as well. And then you can never go wrong with a good chocolate chip cookie. Am I right? Alrighty, so number 10 favorite type of Christmas cookie I just said it <laughs> would be like um, chocolate chip cookies the blossom cookies or my little Russian tea cake cookies okay um let's see do you or your family open any gifts on Christmas Eve nope we do not as a matter of fact, it's so funny. Brian is such a baby. Like, he is such a child when it comes to Christmas time. <laughs> he actually, like, will peek inside of Christmas packages that are put underneath the Christmas tree. 
kid you not. So like I don't wrap anything. I just kind of keep everything hidden so he can't find it. And then I just kind of wrap them up from time to time and then I'll put somebody else's name on them because if he thinks that they're his, he's gonna open it up a little bit and he's gonna try to take a peek to see what it is. So I don't do any Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. We usually wait till Christmas morning. That's usually what we do. Um, and I've always waited Christmas morning with my boys. Okay, um, let's see. Number 12, do you decorate your tree yourself? Yes, ma'am, I do. All by myself. My husband did help me put the tree up and he put the little, you know, sticks and everything in and he helped me get all the stuff out. But I'm the one who decorates everything in this house. This tree is all me, y'all. All of it. Alrighty, and where do you spend Christmas Day? Well, it just depends on what plans we have. This year, Brian and I are spending Christmas Day right here in our home together. And it has been, I don't know, a couple of years since we've actually like spent time at home for Christmas. And the one time that we did, I was really depressed because I, I was just kind of missing family and missing everybody and just kind of really wanting to be with my family and being with his family at the same time. And it was just, I think it was like the first year that we moved here or something and it was just didn't work out that we could go anywhere. So, um, but this year we are definitely staying home. I am making a beautiful dinner and I cannot wait. And then we have plans to go see Mary Poppins that day. So it's just gonna be us and a nice chillaxed Christmas day here at home because the last few years we have been gone and we have been busy and it's just, we are just done. We are just done traveling and we just kind of want to stay home for Christmas. So it's, I'm looking forward to spending that day with Brian and our home at Christmas time. Alrighty, um, a favorite Christmas smell pine or like any of the like pine scents around the house like I have a couple of candles that are burning that are like a pine scent and not that it's overbearing pine but something that's very very subtle pine I love that smell that is so Christmas to me and a fire burning is also a very good scent to me and let's see I'm supposed to tag some of my friends well I've already got the tag from London so she's already done that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and tag <laughs> um, Crystal Tara <laughs> if you don't mind answering some of these questions too it's kind of little it's kind of fun anybody else who watches just go ahead and you know answer these questions if you want to um, but um, yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit for Christmas and uh, I will see you guys next time in Wonderland have a great day bye